What is up guys, Marble Torres here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys a really, really awesome tool created by Patrick Naik. It is the Infinite Texture Panel. It's part of his Infinite Panel lines that he's made over the years. It is such a cool Photoshop tool. It really is a fun way of working. And it is such a nice way of actually just leveling up your photography skills and your editing skills. So without further ado, let's check it out. So what is up guys? So today we're gonna edit um, with Infinite Texture Panel. I'm gonna use one of my old photos that I did uh, shoot a while back. Um, previous video, link somewhere, probably up here, I'm assuming. And um, yeah, I'm gonna kind of show you guys how Infinite Texture Panel works and I kind of show you guys some of the uh, workarounds that I've found to actually use it uh, more effectively. Um, full disclosure, I am using the Infinite Texture Panel um, trial version it is free you guys can go download it if you guys want to play with it and um, yeah it's such an awesome tool and it really actually makes certain aspects of editing much better now um, I actually just want to quickly talk about that uh, about the fact that it actually makes things much better is you don't actually have to go find overlays or um, any kind of stock images to kind of want to it that you want to edit into your um, photos now however with the trial version, you can't license these. That is the unfortunate thing. You cannot license these photos or with the textures that you are using, you can't license them. But you have a, such a wide variety of options to choose from. And it's such an awesome tool to actually use in that sense that it actually makes your workflow much faster. And to me, anything that actually speeds up my workflow is a great help. But you guys don't want to hear me rambling on about shit like this. You guys want to see how Infinite Texture Panel works. It's actually quite simple. It is really, really simple. Um, I cannot speak for the um, full version, but the trial version, very simple. Um, it's just a little bit slower so far that I've found, uh, and you just don't get all the features. But before I can show you guys that, firstly, I need to actually show you. I've used Patrick Naik's, um, kind, uh, his color grading panel, Infinite uh, Color Panel, to create this color grade for this photo and um, for the textures to kind of work or the overlays to kind of work you want to do it underneath whatever color grade you are doing otherwise it's not going to fit into your color grade so I'm going to put it right below it and firstly I just want to look at the photo it is a photo I took of a motorcycle chick next to the motorcycle next to a main road it looks dusty it looks warm and that's going to tell me what overlay that I want and for me I want some dust and there you go guys, all you do is you just click on whatever type of overlay you're looking for. Mine's in particles, it's gonna be dust particles. And as you guys can see, it gives you a proper wide selection of um, overlays to choose from. You can actually click on any one of them and they'll give you a nice selection. Now for me, I want just some light dust particles. I'm gonna actually use this one. And all you do is you just hold, uh, hover over it. If you wanna pick any of the other ones, you just click on it and it will go into the center here. And then you can just click add. And it's just going to say busy. It's just going to take a little bit of a while. So I'm just going to bear with me. As you guys can see, there it is in the photo. There's some dust particles and you can move it around. So all you do is you just click on um, its panel and you can just move it where you want it. I kind of want it here in the foreground because that's where I think it's going to be the most apparent. And you can size it up because it is a high resolution file. Now, with this being so um, very apparent in the photo, looking really unrealistic, the first thing I'm going to do is... I am going to say Command L or Control L in um, if you're using Windows, and then you just bring up the darker areas a little bit so that it um, takes away any borders that you might have, and it also just takes away some of the little bit of whiteness that is in the overlay. Not all of the overlays are like pure dark, so you don't really get that um, very clean look. So all I do is I say Command L, and it gives me levels and I just bring up the blacks a little bit. And then all we do is we go into opacity and we just lower it. Keep in mind, looking at certain areas, it's gonna affect your photo. So I'm looking at it more in front of the tires, in front of her legs. I'm not too concerned about this big dust spot here because I'm gonna edit that out um, because you can edit that out with a mask. But I first wanna see the main areas that I am concerned with for it to actually work there. So I'm going to leave it here about 60, looks fine there, and then I'm going to put a mask. 
Now all you do with the mask is, you just make sure that you uh, clicked on the mask and that you're on the right foreground color. Mine is currently on black because I want to remove this. And um, if you don't have that, you can press X to switch in between black and white or default to put it back to the default if you have any other colors in your foreground color. So we're using black because our mask is white. And then all we do is we just start brushing and it's slowly going to remove whatever you have in that photo that you're trying not to have there. And there you go, guys. As you see, the dust is no longer as apparent there. It looks pretty good. It actually blends in quite nicely. Now, next up, just one thing that I want to share with you guys is something I've learned uh, along with experimenting with this thing is it's not all the overlays look perfect straight out when you just add them. Some of them have these um, issues where you see these harsh lines like over here this harsh line over here and it looks very splotchy it looks very untidy it looks very unclean now the best way i found to actually fix this uh, to make it look the most natural as possible is you do command l or control l whichever one and then you just go and bring bring up the blacks a little bit and there you go much cleaner i think this is a a nice workaround it, it really really helps me a lot it just brings that need to mask out any bad type of layering or any bad type of um, masking just removes that problem it, you know it's a very easy solution just by command l control l on the layer done sorts it out immediately so i hope you guys enjoyed this infinite texture video i hope you guys learned something new if you guys want me to do any other videos leave a comment down below if you want me to test out any other panels if you want to see um the previous video of infinite color panel go check um somewhere around here or in the description down below whatever and also maybe leave a like if you did enjoy this video it does help youtube tell me what you guys enjoy and if you haven't already subscribed and maybe even ring that bell icon um, I don't know what it does. Apparently, YouTube lies to us and tells us that that's the way YouTube um, will let you know that we have um, a new video up. But if you guys enjoy this channel, that's how you can support me. So without further ado, guys, peace out.